fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high yo silver, the Lone Ranger. frontier of the early western United States. A man's life often depended on the quickness of his draw. Outlaws robbed and plundered the honest ranchers and miners. No man's property was safe, and the new territory might never have become civilized if it had not been for the masked rider of the plains. His strength and courage made him the greatest champion of justice the West ever knew. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hello, Silver! We're heading for the gold country! Hello, Silver! Away! <laughs> man, known throughout the hill country as Lonesome, was aiming a rifle through the window of his tumble-down shack. Crouched beside him was Sheriff Rankin. Outside, taking shelter among the surrounding trees, were four hooded outlaws and... Try and catch me napping, will you? <laughs> well, I'm a heap too smart for you. <laughs> you missed again. Well, take this. Better save lead, Lonesome. We can't pick them off behind them trees. We'll have to wait till they try to rush us. <laughs> I just aim to keep them leery, that's all, Sheriff. Doggone, I'm glad you happened along. Them skunks would have got me all right. Able to make them out yet? Not with them hoods hiding their faces. Mm. Bet I could guess right close. So could I. The skunks. Suspicion them ain't proven, though. Looks like that one fella wants to say something. Huh? You there! You aim to parley? Better give up. You'll be the best boy in the end. You can't hold out again to four of us. No? Shucks, mister, we'll hold out to the big freeze if we have to. <laughs> I shall be what you're after. Aim to get the map to where my gold's hit, don't you? Well, you won't. You just bet you won't. Come any closer and we'll fill you so full of lead you won't hold water. your tree. <laughs> that made you jump, by golly. The next one will be closer. Yippee! I'm just getting warmed up, Sheriff. So them stories about you having a map are true after all, Lonesome. Uh, sure are, but no low-down crook's going to get him away from me. I hope you ain't fool enough to keep it in the shack here. Sure do. Gosh, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> Nobody's going to find it. Well, just the same. Besides, 
I ain't going to be needed much longer. No? Not that I ever needed it. Not an old fella like me. But what did you mean? Tonight or tomorrow, my boy's widow will get to town. Her and the young'un. Stage bringing them. So your boy's dead, huh? Yep. Had a lawyer fella trace him. Found out he was killed in an accident. He was... Watch out! <laughs> Them fellas couldn't hit the sky on a clear day. Come and get us, you blasted crooks! Just come and get us! Before long, we will. What's holding you? Maybe I can drill him. But you sure made him skedaddle for cover. Blast it. I'll ventilate one of them yet. Uh, look here, Lonesome. Huh? You know, I never could figure out just why you needed a map to find your gold. Sheriff? I'm a remarkable gent. Yeah? <laughs> sure. Why, oh, I, I know my failings. I know I ain't no young buck no more. What I mean is, I ain't fool enough to depend just on memory at my time of life. Recollection's kind of getting shaky in spots. So I've written it all down. That's it, huh? And what if something happened to me? With a map around somewhere, it'd be found sooner or later, and then my kin folks would have a chance to collect. Yeah, that's good sense. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Hey, I think they're getting set to rush us. Let them come. Shoot to kill. Just let them get lined up with my sights. Get your head down. I... You hit my shoulder. The bomb and start shooting. Don't mind me. Sure up. Well, what in blazes? Oh. What? What's happening, Sheriff? Well, they're clearing out. They're taking to the horses. Huh? Now, why come would they... Silver. Hear that? Who is it? I couldn't guess. Come on, old boy. Oh, go. What the... There's two of them. One's mask and the other's a redskin. Outlaws. But they saved our hides. Oh. Just, just the same. You better keep your guns handy. Think I won't? Here they are. Oh, 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 oh. Carefully. Oh, oh. Might be a trick. And we'll have to risk it. Come on in, but keep your hands clear of your holsters. Now, don't get too close. Wear that out, boss. Well, you got your face hit. Never mind that. Uh, him got heap bad wound. Yeah, let's have a look at this. And me fix them. Stand back, I tell you. Oh, shucks, Sheriff. What's the harm? Sure, Injun, take a look. It ain't nothing but a flesh wound, is it? You need bandage. There ain't nothing here that'd do except a little... Tell bandages in his saddlebag. Get them, Kimasabi. Uh -huh. I'll have to tear away the sleeve of your shirt, Lonesome. Huh? How come you know what I'm called? Now, who is there around here who doesn't? Mm, oh, reckon there ain't many. Now then... This won't hurt. Go right ahead. Is that hot water on the stove? I'll get it. I'm going to wash this out a bit before Tonto wraps it up. There you are. Thanks. Oh! Hurt? Hurt? <laughs> Tickles is all. Keep right at it. Look here, stranger. Yes? Maybe I was wrong about you. You don't talk like no outlaw. Don't act like one, neither. Only thing I can't figure out is that mask you're wearing. I wear it for reasons of my own. Yeah, but... Hand me those, Tonto. Uh, here, bandage. I'll be finished in a moment, Lonesome. Any idea who shot you? Oh, that's something I don't know. Didn't you see him? We heard shots, but they must have left just before we got here. Oh! Bandage too tight? Tight? No, no, just fine. Thanks a heap. That'll do for the present. But I'd advise you to have it dressed again soon. The doctor in town can do it. Shucks, I ain't no baby. You listen to the stranger, Lonesome. That wound's gonna need tending to. Well, I... suppose these fellows were after your map. Say, don't you know an awful lot about my affairs, mister? Everyone's heard of the map you have. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's so. <laughs> It'd be more suspicious if the stranger claimed he hadn't heard about it. Yeah. Now, how many attacked you? Four that we counted. Wasn't that it, Lonesome? Four is right. Their trail shouldn't be hard to find. Tell and I'll get after them. In the meantime, Sheriff, I suggest that you take Lonesome into town with you and see that he goes to a doctor. That's a good idea. Oh, no, you fellas, look here. I don't need no nursing at all. But I'm... wasn't you going into town anyhow to meet the stage? Sure I was, but... Then I... quit your hollering. Can you ride? Me? Stranger? I'm tough enough to ride to my own funeral. <laughs> good. Come on, Tonto. Uh, where are you going? Pick up the trail those fellas left. We may see you in town later. But I... Must have had their horses among those trees. That's the place to look first. Isn't that right? But there's something else. Uh, what's that? Well, we'll talk about it later. Come on, Snow. Get him up, Scout. Oh, 
Toronto's keen eyes found the empty shells discharged from the guns of the outlaws. And a moment later, he found the place from which they had ridden away. The masked man and the faithful Indian followed. Santo, they seem to be heading straight for town. You look? Yes. There, town now. Right. And here, trail. Go that way. And they aren't heading directly for town. They're making a detour. Huh. I've got an idea what they're doing. Mm, what path? You can see they don't intend to avoid the town. They did. And ride more to the south. <laughs> That's right. I think what they're doing is circling to dodge the main street. If I'm not mistaken, we'll find they're headed for the rear entrance of the cafe. Mm-hmm. Maybe you're right. If they did, it'll help. How that? We'll find cover there. There's a row of windows that runs the full length of the cafe on each side. We could get close without being seen and get a good view of the interior. Uh-huh. They'll have gotten rid of their hoods, of course. But if they're inside, there's still a chance we can identify them. That's right. And if we don't, we can still watch their mounts until they return to them. One way or another, we're going to learn who those fellows are. Ah, come on, sir. Get them up, Scout. Curly Beckett, the proprietor of the cafe, was lean and dark with cruel, shifty eyes. He'd been leaning against the bar, but suddenly he straightened up, looked around the cafe, and then strolled toward a room at the rear of the place. Hello, boys. I'm waiting for you, boss. Yeah. Well, what happened? Why, we, uh... Well, that is, uh... You didn't get it? It weren't our fault, Curly. Our honest, it weren't. Thanks, right. You four fellas again, one old man, and you don't get the map. Well, he weren't alone. The sheriff was with him. Then two other fellas rode up. So you run away. But I tell you... Ah, that... you fools. What did the sheriff guess who you was? Why didn't you stay and finish it? Well, what stopped us was them two strangers riding out. And how could the sheriff guess who we was through them hoods? Well, there'll always be another time. We can try again. How? When'll there be another time? Don't you know his son's widder and her younger are getting in town? Ain't you got the brains to see that once they get their hands on that gold, it'll go in a bank and our chance will be gone? Where'd you hear that? From the station agent. Well, gosh, boss, we Just didn't... a second. Huh? Something just came to me. I got an idea. Yeah, if it's like most of yours, Blackie, forget it. Now, look, boss. What if we had got lonesome? How do we know we could have made him talk? You know as well as we do, he ain't the fellow to scare easy. Well... But this young one, and his boy's widow you just mentioned, he must put a heap of store by them if he figures to give them everything he's got. I reckon he does. What of it? Well, don't you see? What he wouldn't do to save himself, he might do to save somebody else. I mean about telling where the map to his gold is. So? So we stop the stage, take them two off, and hold them till Lonesome comes through. Mm. We could do that. Sure we could. Mm, you'd have to hurry. Give us fresh horses and we'll leave right now. If you bungle this... We won't. Give you my word. No going right, we won't. Just let us try it. I will. Saddle fresh mounts and get going. But remember, huh? that was your idea. And if you spile this and... Well, don't, that's all. Now, out the back way. All of you! All right, Curly. You'll be hearing from us soon. <laughs> it better be. Yeah? The sheriff to see you, Curly. Tell him I'll be out. Right. Mm, evening, Sheriff. Oh, howdy, Lonesome. What happened to you? Uh, you wouldn't know, huh? Huh? Uh, what do you mean by that? Just wondering. Mind answering the question? <laughs> Shucks, you know me, Sheriff. I'm always willing to cooperate with the law. I ain't noticed it. <laughs> well, all I was wondering is whether you've seen Blackie and Snake and any of that bunch around town today. Why? Just answer my question. Oh, I suppose I have. Couldn't tell you just when or where, though. Did you, huh? Well, what's the matter? They been up to something that'll rile you? Up to something that'll hang them if I can pin it on them. And you, Curly. Well? You watch your step. That's a warning. Let's go, Lonesome. Where? Huh? Where to? You're going to the doctor like you promised the mask man. Oh. And I'm going back to guard your cabin from sidewinders like I promised myself. By thunder, I'd like to smash a few. Until 
The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. to continue our story. Blackie and his three companions cut across country until they reached the stage trail. There they halted and put on their hoods. Night had fallen and their figures could scarcely be seen. They waited the better part of an hour and then, faintly at first, they heard the distant rumble of the approaching stage. There she is. She's late. She's making up time. Keep back. I'll give the word. All right. Then we better go around. All right, boys. Come on. Get, Get up. up that. Come on. Hold up there. Pull in them horses. Hold up. Rain in there. Rain in. Come on. Come on. All right, driver. Just don't reach for that shotgun there, and you'll be safe enough. We ain't carrying express. What is it, driver? It's a hold up, man. You there. You and the young one. Climb out. What's the matter? Rondo, say now. And you keep shut. Mama, what's the matter? I don't know, dear. There's some mistake, I'm sure. Get a move on. Just what does this mean? We have no money. I... You're on your way to see Lonesome? Lonesome? Crawford's his real handle, I reckon. Maybe you know him by that. Why, why Mr. Crawford's my father-in-law, yes, but I don't see... You don't him. have to see. You can ride double with me. The young one can ride with my part here. No. Better not argue. Driver, do something. Nothing I can do, ma'am. They'd plug me sure as shooting. But you can bet I'll tell the sheriff. It won't be necessary. What? What? Look, he's masked. There's a redskin. Drill him. I'll... Who's next? Why, you dirty... I have... I warned you. Anyone else want to shoot it out? All right. Drop your guns. Watch them, Hunter. Now, me watch them. Did they harm you? No. No, we're all right. But I don't understand... I'll explain but... later. Driver. Yeah? I'll take care of your passengers. Drive on to town. Without them? Get going. You're the boss. Get up! Get along there! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Look here, stranger. Well, can't this be fixed up somehow? Can't we uh, kind of get together and talk this over so we... We can't. Tonto. Uh -huh. Think you can get these fellows to the law? Uh, me do that. They're not armed. They shouldn't be hard to handle. See, they're placed in the custody of the United States Marshal. Not take the sheriff? No, Kimasabi, the Marshal. You there. Huh? Me? I'm taking that horse. You can ride double with one of your friends. No, wait. Hurry. I... All right. Give me a hand, Bob. Uh, here you are. Get going, Tonto. Uh, you fella. Get him up. Get, up. Get him up. Get him up. Mr. Crawford, you'll have to trust yourself and your son with me. You seem to have no choice. You'll come to no harm. And where are we going? The Lonesome's cabin. You ride this extra horse and your son will ride with me. I... I... Yes? I'd like to ask you a question. Go on. That mask. Are you really an outlaw? I'm not. As you'll learn before this affair is finished. Tonto escorted his prisoners to the United States Marshal. The masked man led Mary Crawford and her son to Lonesome's cabin. Who, who, Silver? Oh, there. Who, boy? Is this where Grandpa lives? Is this Grandpa's house? Yes, dear. Yep. <coughs> this is it, Ted. Here, give me your arms. And I'll help you down. Uh huh. There you are. Gee, you're strong. Isn't anyone here? We'll see. Quiet, Ted. Lonesome? Oh, oh, it's you, stranger. Ah, who's this with you? Mrs. Crawford and her son. This is Sheriff Rankin. How do you do? Hello. Howdy, ma'am. Hello there, son. Say, stranger, 
I come out here because I kind of promised Lonesome I'd keep an eye on things while he was gone. But just come inside and look what happened before I got here. What is it? Just take a look. Why, why someone's torn up the floor. Didn't they, though? Look at it. You ever see such a mess? But why? That ain't hard to figure. Someone was here looking for Lonesome's map. Just so. Map? Mrs. Crawford, years ago, Lonesome was a prospector. The gold dust he found, he saved and hid away. Gold? Real gold? He made a map showing where it was hidden, not trusting his memory. He intended the gold to go to his son. When he learned his son had died, he decided it must be yours. That's why he sent for you and Ted. I never dreamed. He never wrote. You didn't know of it, but others did. Others want that gold for themselves. I should never have gone into town with Lonesome at all. No? It just gives them four crooks that was here this morning a chance to come back when nobody was here. They done this. They didn't. Ah, uh, but look at... Because of the present moment, they're on their way to jail. You sure? Tato and I trailed them to town, overheard their plan to hold up the stage, and caught them. Well, I'll be switched. And I sent them to the marshal's office with Tato. But this cabin, the search that was made here, the floor all torn up. Say, I got it. Yes? Curly Beckett. The fellow who owns the cafe? Right. It was him. It had to be. I can tell you this. Whether Curly searched the cabin or not, he did plan the attack this morning. And I'm heading straight for town and jail on that hombre. Oh, wait. Uh, but you I can... can jail Curly. The men Tonto and I captured will give evidence against him. But if the map's been stolen, there's no way to prove he has it. Yeah, and but... And right now, it's more important to get the map back. Curly can be jailed any time. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, I reckon. Hey, ain't that lonesome now? Sounded like him. I believe it is. Howdy, folks. Hey, are you the girl my boy got hitched to? <laughs> Might have known he'd pick a looker. And this is a young one, eh? Gosh, she's a stiff fella. Just fine. Say, I'm gonna like you, Grandpa. Grandpa? Seems funny here, a young fella like you call me Grandpa. Doggone. I'm so glad you could get here. Think I'd have stayed away after the story the stage driver told when he reached town? Well, I should say not. How's your shoulder? It ain't troubling me much. Say, lonesome. Huh? Ain't you noticed it yet? <laughs> noticed what? I, uh, the floor. All tore up where you had your map in. <laughs> the box. The box I have the map in. It, it's gone. But we know who took it. And you got my word for it, it ain't gonna do him no good. Who was this skunk? Who was he? Curly Beckett. Why, the ornery thieving varmint. What kind of a box was it, Lonesome? It was locked up in an iron box, little iron strong box. But that don't make no difference now, as long as it's been took. It may make a lot of difference. Don't see how it's gone, ain't it? Sheriff. Huh? I want a promise. What promise? Don't arrest Curly yet. No matter how sure you are, he's guilty. But I... Oh, when you return to town, don't let him know he's under suspicion. I hope you savvy what you're doing. Then tomorrow night, bring him here. Give him any excuse you choose, but get him here. And you got a scheme to make him tell where the map is, whether he wants to or not? I promise the map will be found. Then that's good enough for me. Sheriff, you do like the masked man says. I got a notion he knows what he's about. <laughs> After the sheriff had left, the masked man talked with Lonesome for a few minutes. Then he, too, left to rejoin Tonto at their hidden camp. He did not return until the following evening when, besides Lonesome, Mrs. Crawford, and Ted, he found the sheriff and Curly Beckett awaiting him. Curly denied all knowledge of the robbery and... Curly, we'll give you one more chance. Where did you hide Lonesome's map? I tell you, I don't know nothing about it. Let me work on him a while, stranger. I'll handle the sheriff. All right, Curly, you... Oh. Oh, the mask man! Someone outside drilled the mask man! Watch out! Catch it! The lamp! His arm knocked the lamp off the table. The oil's spreading. Watch out for fire. This old shack's as dry as dust. The more catching fire! Mary, get that young one out of here. Come, Ted, hurry. Can't nobody get that fire yeah, out? It's spreading too fast. Help me drag the mask man out. The blazes with you. I'm saving myself. Sheriff, run for it, Lonesome. I'll look after the stranger. You can handle it? Sure I can. Now run for it. Better hurry. We'll be all right. You all right? 
are you? <laughs> you? You bet I am. And don't you worry about the masked man, either. Oh, how can you laugh when he was wounded? Oh, why don't they come out? There's the sheriff. Alone. I couldn't save him, folks. The fire spread too fast. I had to get out. Reckon the bullet finished him anyhow. Who fired? You seen the skunk? The United States Marshal fired it. What? what? It's Here. the masked man. You said he was dead, Sheriff. I wasn't even wounded. Then what? It... You can make your arrest, Marshal. What's the U.S. Marshal doing here? You'll soon learn, Sheriff. Sheriff Rankin, I'm placing you under arrest. Resist, and I'll have to shoot. It ain't me you want, it's Curly. There he is, arrest him. I'm arresting both of you. Now look here. Search him, Sadoff. Uh, Get away from me, stand uh, back. Me... Hey, give me that. Uh, here. Here, box. Thanks, Tonto. That's the box with your mat. <laughs> uh-huh. And the sheriff's the fellow that stole it. No. Wait, that ain't so. You I... gave yourself away, Sheriff. But Not quiet. When you told Lonesome you'd come back yesterday to guard the cabin, it was simply to get a chance to search for the map. Mrs. Crawford, Ted, and I arrived here unexpectedly. You'd found it, but you'd had no chance to hide it again except in the cabin itself. I saw to that when I made you leave ahead of me last night. But how could you be sure I'd found it? How did you, you know? were certain the map was gone. When Lonesome arrived, we knew it was gone. Yet the floor had only been partially torn up. You couldn't have been certain unless you had taken it. I let you think I believed Curly had it, so that you wouldn't realize you were suspected. And the masked man had me fire through the window so he could pretend to be wounded and knock the lamp off the table to get the fire going. You stayed behind, Sheriff, to save the map after everybody else had cleared out. <laughs> and, and I was in on the whole scheme. The masked man told me just what he was going to do. Uh, look at her, Mary. All burned down. Well, that's the way it should be. I'm going to live civilized again. We're digging up that gold, Mary, and building us a house in town. Hello, Silver! Away! The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.